What is going on guys? Welcome back. My name is Wolf Click. I'm the 2016 Pokemon World Champion and today I'm going to walk you guys through a strategy that I came up with. I haven't seen a ton of but um, it exists because of some of like the really really cool mechanics that exist in Generation 7 and I just think it's really fun. It's not like the most competitively viable strategy but uh, it's like it's really fun and I've got, I've got three replays here for you guys as well because um, if you didn't see I posted a video using uh, like sorry using Eevee which is not traditionally thought of as like the most competitively viable Pokemon but uh, it has like a really niche role and this is something similar where um, it's it's a very very unique role that this this team composition can play but it's like a lot of fun to use so uh, I tested it out I had a lot of fun with it I made some small tweaks after testing and this is what I ended up with so the general idea here guys is uh, it centers around Oriakori's dancer ability and this should actually probably be here so Oriakori's ability Dancer means that whenever another Pokemon uses a move that is a dance move, uh, so Quiver Dance, Dragon Dance, Revelation Dance, Teeter Dance, I don't know if that one, yeah, I guess that one matters, um, Oriakori will automatically use it without using a move. So basically, uh, the, the general strategy here centers around the idea that if Ribombi goes for a Quiver Dance, Oriakori gets a free, I am so sorry by the way, I have no idea, I can't even spell this thing, Oriakorio not Oriakori, Oriakori or Corio gets a free Quiver Dance as well. Um, and that, but it also is able to use another move. So even if you protect, even if you roost, even if you do any of these moves, as long as Ravamba uses Quiver Dance, you still get that free boost. Um, so that's what the, the general idea is centered around. Um, but yeah, so basically, or or Corio is the main Pokemon here dealing most of the offense and is protect, revelation dance, roost, and air slash. General idea here is to hit hard and hit fast. Uh, after a, after a, Quiver Dance, these stats become a lot stronger, and it doesn't, it's not even, it's not even very weak and, or very slow to begin with, but after a Quiver Dance, it becomes a lot stronger, and Revelation Dance, because this is the Pom Pom or Choreo, it becomes Electric type. Uh, I thought Electric was a good type, because the other, the other or Choreo forms are all weak to Electric, and Tapu Coco is really po uh, popular at the moment, so that's why I chose a Pom Pom form. You can experiment with other forms, it works with all of the forms. For example, there's a Ghost form that um that is super effective on tapu lele and kanoko which is like really convincing so that's the general idea uh roost is there for recovery you can also use hurricane if you if you put a brain poke on here but i thought air slash was more consistent rubambi is is the, like the partner in crime here shield does stop secondary effects from pokemon's attacks so um fake out doesn't ever flinch discharge doesn't ever paralyze it's overall a good ability sweet veil is nice but i i personally prefer shield dust um on ribombi so quiver dance is again the main thing here and protect is kind of mandatory to deal with like random fake out and stuff uh pollen puff is a i love it i use it a lot in game basically it's bug buzz without the special defense drop if you use it on an opponent but it's it's heal pulse if you use it on yourself so i think that's like a super cool mechanic um and it basically allows ribombi to heal its partner which is just awesome like it's it's just a really cool move i wish more things got it because i really like it a lot and then baton pass because uh ribombi is mainly being used to set up it's not really being used to sweep and so being able to pass those boosts off to tapu lele is like really good so the other sweeper here is Tapu Lele. This is just a life orb set, really standard. Max speed, max special attack, 4 HP. Um, protect Psychic, Psych Up, and Dazzling Gleam. I was originally using Moonblast, but after testing, I found Dazzling Gleam was way was uh, way better. General idea here is um, you can Baton Pass into Tapu Lele, or you can just Psych Up with Tapu Lele, or you can just bring it in. It hits very hard after a booster too. So that's a general idea. And then I really like Togo Tomorrow. This set is actually these EVs are taken from my guide on Togo Tomorrow. It went up two days ago from when I'm posting this, so maybe three days depending on when I decide to post this. But general idea here is that Nuzzle, Fake Out, Zing Zap, overall good support, and Fake Out support is also very useful. Um, yes. And when I when I build cores like this, I only build four mons just because I want to. These like for a strategy like this, these are like the main four mons. Togo Tomorrow could be could be a different Pokemon as well if you were interested in that. But I personally like really like Togo Tomorrow. I think it's really cute. So. Yeah, so let's walk through some replays. It's, I've talked a lot, so just so you guys, because it might be easier to see in action. Again, guys, Showdown's replays are still kind of uh, struggling a bit, but um, you guys know my team. It's Oracorio, Ribombi, Tapu Lele, and Togo Tomorrow. And this guy has Tapu Lele, Oranguru, and Tapu Koko all hidden. So, let's go into it. I don't know where Ribombi shows up. Okay, this is actually my favorite one. No, no, this isn't my favorite one. Never mind. So basically, turn one, right? I'm pretty much always going to Quiver Dance, turn one, unless I need to protect or something, or... Um, yeah, but basically, as you can see, one Quiver Dance activated both Quiver Dances. So both, both Rubambi and Oracorio immediately get the Quiver Dance up, which is really nice. Um, and this is, like, I wasn't sure if we were going to win this one because, <laughs> because, um, like, Krugodile Metagross is, like, really not a great lead. But I'll show you guys what happens. So I immediately go for a Revelation Dance because, um, 
I was hoping that I would lose Rabombi turn one, and that I could basically I was, I, I was either I was hoping that I could force the Metagross into protecting turn two, which would let me roost turn two for me. Um, so he goes for he goes, he goes for Rock Slide. He crits Rabombi, but I honestly doubt it mattered too much. Actually, I know it didn't because his other move here is Meteor Mash. He goes for Meteor Mash and picks up the KO on Rabombi, but fortunately, Oracorio makes it to the turn. So um, I send into Tapalela here because. I'm gonna make the read, and I'm gonna I'm gonna bank on his Metagross protecting, and I'm gonna try and set up instead. So he goes for protect, and I go for a roost with Oracorio, healing my HP, and I had a feeling he might do that, and a psych up. Um, and he goes for a rock slide, but thank you because I roosted, uh, that rock slide does significantly less, and now I'm in a really nice position where I can just dazzling gleam because as you can see, boosted dazzling gleam does like a lot of damage. Um, and even though his Metagross does eat a Leechy Berry and raises his attack, it now is like significantly weak to uh, Revelation Dance. So this is an overall solid position. But now he sends in his, his Surge Surfer Raichu. Um, and I had a feeling he was going to fake out into my Tapu Tapu Lele. And so I went for Protect. And he actually goes for a Discharge here, which is really nice. Although he does crit me, which might end up mattering in the like later. Uh, but I forgot about Encore. So that was really foolish of me. I forgot about Surge Surfer plus Encore. So I was kind of hoping he was a Salt Fest, but he wasn't. Um, and yeah, I thought Revelation Dance might do more. But I forgot that I wasn't on the ground. So Electric Train didn't boost me. But he does go for a Dazzling Gleam here. So it doesn't do too much. So um, I switched into Token tomorrow. He goes for... His Z move, Stoked Spark, Spark Surfer, uh, and Revelation Dance picks up the KO. But now I'm kind of in a, in a bad position because Thunderbolt, because of the crit earlier, might not have mattered. But it, it does pick up the KO on my Oracorio, which means that now I can't go fake out and roost because before because I activated Psychic Terrain, so I can't fake out anymore. Um, and so I was just curious to see how much Zing Zap was going to do. As you can see, he's not doing a ton of damage. There is there is the possibility that I could out damage him. That's kind of what I was thinking at the moment. Uh, this or oh, this Token Amaro doesn't have a Steel type move because the only Steel type move learns is Gyro Ball, but. Unfortunately for him, Dazzling Gleam does not do enough damage to pick up the KO, and Togedemaru actually picks up the KO here. So that was just like a fun game. I thought it was really, really funny, and shows kind of how the momentum can really swing. This is the next one I want to show you guys. This is the first one I played with the team. Um, he goes for Primarina, Primarina, and Primarina, Primarina, I don't know. Um, but basically, he goes for Double Water Type into my Electric Type combination. So once again, Quiver Dance coming up, and... Revelation Dance just picks up the KO, <laughs> and he was probably going for some entrainment stuff here, but it didn't. It didn't work. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, he just forfeited. So I thought that was really funny, and yeah, he he didn't like that team, which is funny because I think Alolan Golem is really hard for this team, like really hard. Um, and then lastly, this is uh, this is actually my favorite game. So just going into it, you can see he has Primarina, Vaporeon, Pikachu, Kamala, his own Rubombi, and his own Oracorio, but this time it's it's Ghost type Oracorio. So. <laughs> Yeah, so I'll, I'll let you guys watch. So he goes Vaporeon for Marina, right? And I'm like, all right, excellent. I can just Quiver Dance and Revelation Dance. It'll be great. But he switches both. He goes into Pikachu. So I go Quiver Dance. I, I Quiver Dance his Oracorio. <laughs> and then I Quiver Dance my Oracorio. So one attack activated three attacks. And then I forgot that Revelation Dance activated Lightning. Uh, activated Dancer as well. So I Revelation Dance into the Pikachu. Gives a Lightning Rod boost. And then he Revelation Dances my Rabombi. And so that was just an overall terrible, terrible turn. Um... And Pikachu's fake out actually does a ton of damage there. So overall, it's not looking too good, but I still feel okay. Um, I Baton Pass out because Baton Pass is great, and I get Tapu Lele in, which is really really nice. And I, I he didn't want so he didn't want to go for he didn't want to go for his Revelation Dance because he um, he didn't want to activate mine. He was even though it would have gone into Pikachu. He like if I had doubled up into Pikachu with like Rubombi and Orcorio, I would have KO'd Pikachu, and then if he used Revelation Dance. He would have um, activated my Revelation Dance, and then I would have Electric Type Revelation Danced his Orcorio. You see how like deep this is when you have two Orcorios in the field. I don't know. I think that's awesome. And I go for an Air Slash into Pikachu, and I pick up the Flinch, which is really nice. Uh, and he he gets out of there. He wants Fake Out later, but he he also goes for a Psychic. Sorry, he goes for I go for a Psychic, and he goes for a Revelation Dance into my Tapulele, which actually KOs. But unfortunately, like I said, it, it activates my Revelation Dance, and because he switched Pikachu out. Um, <laughs> He KOs himself with his own... Hang on, wait, let's think about that. He Because he switched Pikachu out, his Revelation Dance activated my Revelation Dance, which KO'd him. And if he left Pikachu in, because he was faster, it would have it would have gone into Lightning Rod, and then he still would have had his Oracorio on the field, because... Because I didn't know he was Sash, so I didn't double that slot. I, I air slashed into the Pikachu. So yeah, that's... Car Sorry guys, this is really confusing, I know, but it's also super funny. So, because I have Shield Dust, I just protect my... Okay, so not only do I have Shield Dust, but I also have um, Psychic Terrain up. So I knew I, he can't fake out into my Rabombi, and because I have Electric-type on my Oracorio, um, 
I felt pretty good just trading Pikachu. I needed to get rid of Pikachu so I could use my attack. So Revelation Dance comes out here, and I pick up the KO on the Primarina, and I go for a Zing Zap because it's a cute move, and he unfortunately flinches, so I flinched him twice. <laughs> and yeah, Revelation Dance should pick up the KO here. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys those replays. I think they're really fun, uh, and I hope you enjoyed that. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I should have I uh, zoomed in, but um, if you're interested in this team, I will go ahead and... I will go ahead and put it in the description down below so you can go ahead and check it out um, and test this out for yourself. Obviously, feel free to experiment. Togo tomorrow could probably be something else because Psychic Terrain does stop Fake Out, and obviously that's like kind of you you like you like you could that slot could be improved in my opinion. But um, in terms of just like getting something, if you just want something fun to play with while you're on like the ladder and you just want like a VGC 17, I thought this this team could be pretty cool. So um, if you like this kind of content, I haven't covered Rubombi or, or Corio. I have covered Tapu Lele and Togo tomorrow. If you're interested in learning more about them, you can check out my um, guides on them. I will link them in the description down below. Um, if you'd like me to do individual analyses on or Corio and Rubombi, I can also do those. Um, I really like I like my main Pokemon when I played through Sun was Rubombi. Like it just I like swept the whole game with it, so I'm I'm fond of it. But um, yeah, I also really like Oracorio. I think it's a cool Pokemon. So if you want to see individual guys in these mods, let me know. I just kind of wanted to give you guys something fun that was gimmicky, but also just like fun to mess around with on ladder. So um, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, I've I've like gotten a lot of feedback on my speed of speech and my people don't like my high pitched voice. My uh, I don't know, my, it's, like, it's, it's kind of myself, what's the word I want? It's, like, the voice I used to make fun of myself, and, um, uh, I've gotten some feedback that people don't like it, so, um, I am reading your feedback, guys, I am trying to control my, my, the, like, the speed at which I speak, it's tough because, like, I speak fast because I think fast, and it's just the way that I, the way that I am, and so, uh, it's, it's natural for me to speak fast, but, um, I have gotten a lot of feedback on that, and I'm going to do my best to, mitigate the speed at which I speak and I will also try to remember not to use my alternate voices and just to use my main my primary slow lower voice so um I really appreciate the feedback in general it, it is super helpful um again I hope I just ask that you understand that it's not natural for me to to slow down and it's not like I have trouble being disingenuous just in general like I I'm not very good at lying and um I'm not really good at like pretending to be somebody other than I am, and so it's sometimes it's difficult for me to, like, how do I say it? I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm just gonna end this video. Like, it's I'm I'm reading the feedback and I appreciate it. And if you have other feedback, please feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I do read them. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content or other cool combinations that you want. Or some, you feel free also to suggest suggest other cool combinations. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.